uh, greeting everyone, this is uh, Dr. Muhammad Mahmoud. Today, inshallah, I will explain how to do calibration uh, using the reference sample, the standard sample, for one of the methods in the gas chromatography mass spectroscopy. Our instrument here, we have Agilent technology, the MS 5975C. The software we are using here, this is the enhanced data analysis software. Uh, first of all, you have to inject the sample or the different concentration for each standard, uh, maybe two or three times to have the same repeatability and the same peak height. Initially, once you have the calibration care, we have two, maybe two type of calibration method we can use. The first one, you can make like auto calibration using the software itself. After I have selected all this calibration, even no need to name anything unless you have to know for each peak what is the exact the name of the peak. Like here, to have right click, make double click on the right click mouse. This is 78, it's like the, the benzene peak, the fragmentation peak, the main peak of the benzene. Again, double click on the right mouse, and then you will open the search mode. Make sure that you have, okay, this is benzene. Know the retention time for this peak and note it down. I have made for all these uh, peaks, I have the name with each one retention time. So what I have to do next, first you have to make sure that you load the method you will do the calibration and then go to calibrate. Better to make clear for all the compounds that you have before, if you have it. Now make like calibration. Select the second one, auto quantification setup. Put the calibration name. Put the unit of the calibration or the concentration of these compounds like BBM, BBB, whatever you want to have and then make OK. It will bring each retention time for each peak. Like here, the first peak we have 3.908 and this is the main ion. So make add. Again, this is the second peak at 6.3 retention time minute. And this is the main ion source. You will make add for all the components that you have. This one better to select the same as retention time. Add, add, add. Until you finish all the compounds that you have. It's mentioned that this file has not been quantified. Press yes to quantify now. Now this is the first calibration level. So you have to put what concentration that you used for this method or for this run and maybe 2 ppm or 50 ppb whatever you have and put the level of the calibration for sure this will be like one and make two updates now this is the calibration curve and this is all the peaks that we have what you can do now just press here you know that this is the first peak is benzene just write benzene and go for the second one, ethyl benzene. Third one, maybe toluene. All these peaks, I already have them before. Before I start doing the calibration, you have to identify which peak at which retention time, and then press OK, calibrate. Now, to see if really I did the calibration or not, just to go for the quantitative, quantitative and make calculate. As you can see, I put the concentration 2 ppm, all the components are 2 ppm. I only named the first three peaks, benzene, ethyl benzene and toluene. If you put the same name for all the other 13 compounds, you will have your own calibration done. Okay. Now, if you want to add one more point, you have to select the chromatograph, make edit or update. You want to update level, that means you will update one level 
has not been quantified. Yes, you will mention what is the concentration. Maybe this is one ppm, two, and make two update. In this case, you will see the two points are here, but this peak or this is chromatogram is not as half of the other one as one ppm and the other one two ppm. This is why once you have the good injection and have good repeatable peaks, you will see this calibration as linear. So this is the first type of the calibration. What is the second type? Or how to do the calibration with the other way? Do calibrate, clear, clear all components. If you see the table, it's now empty and black. Now we will do it manually. Like we know at this time, this is the peak. So make calibrate, set up quantification, name the calibration, put the unit, press OK. Now we will put each component manually, like insert of the above. You will see a small table here. You have to write the name. This is the benzene. And you have to select the retention time. This is the retention time has been captured. You have to put the target ions in the, the peak. You have to select three ions. To select the, the ion, you have to come on the center here and make the click for the right and left together. One already here, and this is the second one. You can see the ion already come here, and this is the third one. Now I mix here. It will go for the second compound. This one you have to all you have to do by yourself. Just come here, double click, right to the wheel, select the main peaks one, two, three, all are saved, and then you will go and so on until you finish all the 13 compound. Press exit whenever, whatever. Uh, compound you will name here this is the retention time and this is the signal and press exit this one to make the quantification the calibration and put the ID do the update this is the calibration only we name the two compound so this is why you can see only two compounds are here those are the two uh, way for to do the calibration of the analysis the, the instrument I hope it was clear for you if you need any clarification or anything, just either email me or uh, comment on the, the video. Inshallah, I will try to explain more in the coming video.